So, Pascal, why are we out here in the middle of nowhere? The area where we're on is one of the highest concentration of gold that we have in Canada and probably in the world. Locals call this part of Quebec the Val d'Or, or Valley of Gold. And I'm on my way to one of Canada's biggest mines, La Ronde. La Ronde is one of the, the deepest and the most challenging mine in Canada. And how deep does it go down? This one is 3.2 kilometers. It's one of the longest single shaft in the, uh, in the world. Look, I'm going to tell you, I'm a little claustrophobic, so I'm a little nervous about going three kilometers into the earth, but I'm sort of really intrigued to see how it's done. Deep in the Canadian wilderness, La Ronde Mine is one serious operation. To see how they get the gold out, I'm going into the sprawling underground world that lies far beneath. Smaller than I thought. I thought it was going to be bigger. Well, actually, uh, normally we fit 20 to 25 people in this tech. 25 people? Yes. It's in a, here? Yeah, it's squeeze. My guide is Pascal LaRouche. He's worked at La Ronde for over 17 years. So we're, we're gone now. Going down. Yeah, so we're going down at the speed of 1,500 feet per minute. That's almost 30 kilometers an hour. You feel stress, you feel... You know, it's just that... It's the idea that we're going down into the... into the center of the earth. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to swallow, huh? It's not hard to swallow. Yeah. That's not a nice feeling. We're on our way to the bottom of a hole in the ground, which is roughly as deep as six Empire State buildings stacked up on top of each other. Wow. I've done some crazy stuff in my life, but I've never been three kilometers down into the earth before. Oh, level 278, here we okay, go. Okay, okay. Thanks, Mark. Out at last. But our journey deep into the earth is only just beginning. To get to the gold, we have to grab a ride and go even deeper. So we're going down. Underground, the mine is connected by over 30 kilometers of roads, wide enough to handle huge, great trucks. It's getting warmer. Yes, it is. I, I can actually feel the heat, you know? After that bumpy ride, I was hoping to see a bit of gold, but it looks, well, <laughs> a bit gray. Thankfully, we can do something about that. Running through the rock is a seam, rich in zinc, and copper, with a bit of silver, and tiny amounts of gold. But there's only one way to get at it. Once the rock, known as ore, is blasted, it's cut down to size. Wow. So, uh, how do they send it to service? There's a conveyor who bring the ore all the way up to the... All the, the way up? Yep. Wow. At the surface, the gold is separated from the ore through chemical extraction. It's then heated in a furnace to over 1,000 degrees Celsius. Wow, look how hot that is. Despite where maybe 20 feet away can feel the heat. Yeah.
it's here, it's so exciting. It's so exciting. This is the first time I've ever seen gold being poured. I can see it's, uh, like you say, lava. Yeah. Expensive lava. Expensive, yeah. to comprehend what I'm seeing. How did this come from that gray old rock? It's mind blowing. Once the gold is cool, the bars are giving a quick polish. That's for you. Oh my God! That is heavy. It's 21 kilo, oh roughly 70% uh, gold in it. It's real. Yeah, it's real. Yeah. And this is worth like what? One million dollars? Yeah, worth a million US. That is amazing. <laughs>